300,000 deep and cleft palate patients waiting for surgery in Bangladesh. And most of these patients coming from a very poor socio-economic corner of the society. And they're living far away from Dhaka. We're going to see uh, the home of a, a child that we're operating on next week, a baby with a bilateral cleft of the palate and the parents have kindly agreed to us visiting. And every year, there are 5,000 to 6,000 clap patients added with this queue. So it's very difficult for a, a small number of plastic surgeons which we have to operate all these clap patients. <laughs> আমাদের বাইতে মুরগি ফার্ম আছে গরু রি আছে অনেক সুন্দর ক্ষেত ফসল অনেক সুন্দর সুন্দর জায়গা আছে ইফ এনি চাইল্ড বোর্ন উইথ দি ক্লিপ লিপ অর প্যালেট ইটস এ সোশ্যাল প্রবলেম ইটস অলসো ফ্যামিলি প্রবলেম দে সাফার ফ্রম সো মেনি অ্যাঙ্জাইটি এন্ড সোসাইটি কমপ্লেইন দ্যাট দে আর সাম ফল্ট দ্য বেবি বোর্ন উইথ দিস ক্লিপ লিপ অর প্যালেট আমার ষোলো বছরে বিয়ে হয়েছে সতেরো বছরে বাচ্চা হয়েছে তারপরে হঠাৎ ছেলে হয়েছে তারপরে ঠোঁট কাটা হয়েছে তালু কাটা হয়েছে যে সঙ্গে খাওয়াই ওই সঙ্গে শুধু নাক দিয়ে বের হয়ে যায় যে সঙ্গে হাত চিদে আর কোনো সমস্যা নেই শুধু একটু কি প্রথম প্রথম একটু খারাপ লাগছিল তারপরে ওরা বুকু দিয়েছে থাকে এটা খারাপ কোনো না কিছু না এটা ঠিক হয়ে যাবে না আস্তে হয়েছিল বেলা প্রথম খারাপ লাগছিল সবাই তো সাজে একটা ভালো বাচ্চার দরকার ঠিক না হয়েছিল তারপরে মন খারাপ করলে কিছুই হইব না যে নিজের বাচ্চা ফালাইতে যাব না ঠিক না তারপরে সবার জিজ্ঞেস করলাম যে চিকিৎসা কি আছে নাকি সবাই বললো যে আছে ঢাকা মেডিকে পরে ওখানে গেলাম ভর্তি ভর্তি এলাম এখন স্যার দেব অপারেশন হবে শি দ্য মাদার ইজ অনলি 17 বাট ইজ এক্সট্রিমলি ক্যাপেবল আ আ বোর্ন ন্যাচারাল মাদার এন্ড অবভিয়াসলি লাভস দ্যাট লিটল বেবি ক্লেপচার a big problem in Bangladesh. We, I think it's a very deserving country. It's a, a very socially deprived population. It's one of the three Asian countries in the world's 20 poorest countries. And really there is so little infrastructure here in terms of cleft care. But until this center gets going, there is not a true multidisciplinary comprehensive cleft care center. So I think it's a very good place to concentrate on. If we can do the surgery in the right time, they will get their space, they will get their feeding properly and also if we do the chiloplasty, that is the repair of the lip in the right time, they will have limited scar in the lip. Their speech will be okay, their physical appearance will be okay, so they will be acceptable in the society to do their every work. They will have no problem to be incorporated into the society. <laughs> principles of cleft of providing support to local teams to local clinicians is critical and it's very much a collaborative exercise between the surgeons and ourselves i always tell them that they are the boss they decide what happens they decide which patients are operated on they decide the priorities i'm there as a guest and that's quite different to a lot of these sort of missions Hey, 
These are the two people that Professor Kalam has suggested become part of this CREF team. So Leah is a speech therapist, speech pathologist, they've given different names in the UK, it's speech and language therapist. So she is going to become a, a, a full-time speech pathologist here in this, in this centre. And Dr. Afrina is a, a, a plastic surgeon just finishing her training and she's going to be the medical coordinator for the program. Um, my name is Lauren Hahamon. I'm five years old. I'm staying in Lohini. My school's name is NM High School and Homes. I'm in class 8. I do not have an academic course because I have no information about that and I have no money so much. One of the patients we met on that first day was. Uh, a, a girl called Nora, a bright, um, positive, very likable 13-year-old who had never had a cleft palate repair and uh, her speech was really very, very difficult to understand. She was trying very hard to speak well, her articulation was pretty good and we felt that at least we could produce some improvement. And certainly she will require speech therapy. She's, the problem is not going to be solved by surgery. Surgery makes the speech therapy easier, or, or put it the other way around. Speech therapy with an open palate is really not very successful. Every patient needs to communicate. Speech and language therapy services not for uh, the uh, producing speech or producing languages. It uh, helps widely for communicate uh, each other. Every day, every day in a single moments we need to do communicate each other. Speech and language therapy services is a very brand new services in here. Every hospitals have not any better opportunities to provide speech and language therapy services. But we are still working to develop our profession. After that, we can assess every patient. We can provide our better services to both of the patients. The job of a coordinator is, is vital here because to deal with the cleft patients, there has to be a team. And the responsibilities of the coordinator is to ensure that the patient should get benefits from the all, all of the cleft care teams. <laughs> This is the government hospital, you know, so in, we have got a fixed budget and this budget include not only for the cleft, for the burn patient, other patients, so there is a limitation of budget. So budget is definitely a problem. Not a huge amount of money could make a very big difference here. And when we think that funding a, a, a speech service for a year is going to be about £3,000, that's, that's not very much for a, a, a huge benefit to the community. We've designated £25,000 this year to Bangladesh. We need 
bigger sums to provide some of the really important equipment. We hope to appoint, in addition to the speech and language therapist and coordinator, and possibly an anaesthetist, we hope to appoint a cleaner because the standards of cleanliness in this hospital are pretty poor. The operation is very important. It's 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 very important.